Hey guys, welcome to episode 3 and we continue at the last place I showed you in uh, episode 2 and we, as I said in the video before this, we're gonna go out and forage and find a lot of items so we're gonna use this skill called forage significantly increases your chance of finding forage item but you will move slower and I think it actually worked before I was like skeptical will I even found more items but it, it seems to be working so here we got some uh, food oh sorry my inventory is actually full so can eat some of that pick that up and then we are gonna go to my place again can I I'm gonna add this uh, forage movement to a hotkey so if you got this uh, custom made uh, client you can do those things I'm gonna add this to number F1 key you can change the direction of this if you want so I'm gonna put it here if I click F1 you see I switch this down there on off so we're just gonna dump some stuff here so we can actually fill up more things but I won't be dumping like special stuff so let's get going we can have some food with us while we go I'll probably make some more containers later some shroom here I hope to find some uh, maybe some old singing logs or some Indian things stray chestnut those can be made for both eating and uh, you can also study them so useful for more than one thing virginal snail those one we can those snails we can actually cook and make good food of I think smooth stone there yes a smooth stone oh this is actually you see the stump here that's what's the stump I talked about in the episode before this that's where my stuff got stuck this is what I cut down and I before I hadn't seen any player close, but I seen one player, just one. Actually, I didn't see him just on the map, and uh, I found one small uh, lean to like his small, very small camp. He have actually not done anything to it yet. He's probably wandering around like I did in the beginning, and what the hell to do in this game? Where should I start? I've learned a lot more than when I started but I'm far away from like really knowing what I'm gonna do but this is a good way to go around oh sorry guys I actually noticed I have not forage on as you see now I move slower but I will f find more items it slowly drains uh, I'm gonna check which this actually is I don't say wrong yellow bile well active and small amount of fling while you move And I'm actually gonna show you how to start a fire also in my uh, little nice fireplace. Those not I'm not gonna start a fire in a forest. I don't know if it's possible or not, but I I kind of think it is since there are other things that are very realistical in this game. So we can see what we found here: Indian arrowhead. Those can actually be very, very useful if you find like, I think we need a feather also to uh, craft one of the Indian items and that one gives a lot of things to the skills, foraging and uh, other things like, you know, I don't know, art also I think. But the thing I really want to get into right now is uh, mining. So since I'm full now, I'm gonna. No, uh, we're gonna go back to the base maybe. 
Did I drop something here? Yeah. Let's eat one of those shrooms. Let's get back to base and I'm gonna start the fire for you guys. And as you see on the map, there it is, there's my base. You wonder how I see it? It's those grey thing here. And I recognize this place now because I've been here some time now. And uh, there's this thing, this is like the dig the where there's not the leaf anymore so it changes. And the grey thing is obviously the stone uh, road thing I made. I'm gonna check if I'm actually going in the right direction. Yes we are. But as we are... Oh, we're gonna get that also. I think it's a smooth stone. Yes, we're gonna get the smooth stone as well. But then we're gonna go back. So let's eat one of those. I did not really need it though, but I want smooth stone and don't waste items. So now we'll see how I walk faster when I shut off the skill. So you see I'm faster but finding less less forging things. I'm not 100% sure I'm gonna have the map place but at the top it feels kinda good. I'm often having my view there. So I'm gonna show you how to start the fire here in my fireplace with what to use for the fire and I'm gonna start the fire and I'm gonna make some food on it so I'm gonna show you that. So just hang on I'm gonna see if I have any empty spaces in one of those. Hmm maybe here no, it's all full, but we can switch some. We can put some things on the ground as while we wait, I think. You can click the control key and left click to automatically drop them. And now we're going to get some branches for our fireplace. So this will be the fuel for the fireplace. Yes, so left click them and right click. So there, you can right click it, I think. Oh, we'll see here, that's the fuel. I'm not sure if it... It might be in minutes, but I know that uh, the longest you can have the fire on, as far as I know, is 2 hours and 30 minutes, I think. And then you have to fill up the full fuel. I think it's like 50 minutes per... Uh, branch and you can put those like wooden blocks also there they will burn longer and uh, as the fire is going on so you can uh, add more fuel so you have keep the fire alive yes like real life so now we got that there and got this thing I made tin drill I'm gonna show you where you make it so go to craft and uh, Missless tools in it, tinder drill. It requires just two branches, easy to get from trees, never lack of those, and any tinder. Tinder can be like, I don't have that now, but autumn grass or uh, leaves from this tree, those are the things I've found so far. But we're not gonna make it since we have two, and you only need this and you click craft and you have done it. One important thing when doing this, you just left click wait. Just left click that item and right click there like you did when you put the uh, branches on the fireplace and uh, then you will start to try make it fire and I say try because you won't succeed every time maybe it's some skill that increases the chance that you'll succeed I hopefully will be able to make fire here now so we're gonna see when it get if it gets to 100 or not Yeah, you see light on, comfy fire. Gonna pick this stuff up again. Couldn't put an all because I got a branch there. So put that down. And now we're gonna make some food, guys. So you see we have those two, those of Virgin Virginia snail. I didn't know it was Virginia from the start. That's actually a place in uh, America. So we're gonna go to food and we're gonna make this thing. Um that thing, sizzled slug. 
craft all and you will make everyone that you can do from inventory I got one there and we got another so now we can eat those things so keep the fire alive and cook things and this will be end of this episode I hope to see you in the next upcoming episode take care guys